peace, love, grace, mercy, courage, patience, and blessings be multiplied onto you. I wanted to talk to you about the Song of Moses, right? When we go to Revelation 15, 3, we see that the scriptures say, and they sang the Song of Moses, the servant of God, and the Song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. Right? And so uh, <clears throat> this song of Moses, have you heard of it? Which one is it? If you heard of it, right? And so what I found is there's two songs of Moses. One in Exodus, when the children of Israel, excuse me, <clears throat> are being bought out of Egypt. And then uh, the other one, when they were in the wilderness and Moses was given the reign to Joshua and he was about to, you know, give up the ghost and letting them know that certain hardships was going to befall them if they went out the way. So I bring to you the the good and the bad. So the song of Moses from Exodus was about the victory over Egypt that the Lord had done and all the great wonders that he showed. And on the contrary, the song of Moses for Deuteronomy is about the hardships with what's going to happen. So let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 30... Two, one, <clears throat> come on, throw. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are, are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requit the Lord? O foolish people and unwise, is not he thy father that had bought thee? Had he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance, when he scattered the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land, and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about, he instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirred up her nest, fluttered it over her young, spread it abroad, abroad her wings. Take it them, bear it them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. He made him to ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of kine and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs and rams of breed of Bashan and goats with the fat of kidney of wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. But Jeshron waxed fat and kick. Thou art waxen fat, thou art grown thick and thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful and has forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, 
he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no fate. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will send mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also, with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, <clears throat> lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord had not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them, or that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gale, their clusters are bitter, their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. Is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste, for the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh. And that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to all to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. So uh, that's the, uh, the song of Moses you need to remember for all the hardship you're going to face when you're walking out the way. I remember like really getting that one a few years ago and I was like, whoa, whoa that's rough. That's rough. But Moses stated, look, keep this song in your head so that he might, you know, when you when you go astray, you got, you got that to fall back on. But the good, if you're still here, let's go with the good. So when they come out of Egypt, there was a song they sang <clears throat> to glorify God. And I think that <clears throat> as we coming out of our uh, delusion and starting to get some truth in the world, when the victory comes, 
we'll be singing this song. <clears throat> I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. <clears throat> the Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host had he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, had dashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. <laughs> thou sendest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heat, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise and praises, doing wonders? Thou stretchest out thy right hand. The earth swallowed them. Thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy, thy holy habitation. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone. Shall be as still as a stone. Till thy people pass over, O Lord. Till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thou hands have, have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horse of Pharaoh went with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought again the waters of the sea upon them, but the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. So those were the two songs of Moses. You see, one had a more positive vibe, one a more negative vibe. And so, you know, the Lord always set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. It's all according to how you move, right? And to think that you could live lawlessly, it's not even logical. You can't even do it in man's world. Well, how could you do that in God's world? You know, the whole world move according to law. And when things start to deviate, things fall apart. So, I pray this message, message finds you well. Peace, love, grace, mercy, courage, patience, and blessings be multiplied unto you.